let's see what you could do today. Well, I mean, you could always, um, could do a violin video. Ah, yeah, we already did one today. And that wasn't very good, but you're too lazy to do another one. I'm going to try to post two in one day because, you know, reasons. So, what, what else? Uh, feminism got anything good? Eh, no. Lockdown things? No. Oh, hey, speaking of that, they found another version of the swine flu. Because that's what we need. Let's go run through the disasters of the uh, of all of 2020. So, as we move into 2020, we, uh, we have the Australian bushfires. Now, this was just a big event before we had everything else going on. The next event to happen was the V virus. You all know which one I'm talking about, and I'll get demonetized if you got if I even include that. Understand if I include the word. By the way, YouTube, this is family friendly PG clean. Oh, uh, okay. Um, next thing we had was we just uh, well um well it spread quick. Got it? The next thing we had was murder hornets. We had locusts. After that, we had, well, we had the alien thing, I think. Then we had, uh, we had the alien thing. Then, then we found, uh, oh, then we found the swine flu. After that, it was the giant dust uh, storm that came from the uh, Arabian Desert, and uh, it was a giant sandstorm. It got up into the upper atmosphere, and it uh, it hasn't hit uh, well, it hasn't hit um, central um, uh, central United States. So I should be good. So yeah. Then we had, well, nuclear leaks or disposal of waste. I don't know. Uh, basically, a, some, a lot of radiation was picked up in Eastern Europe. Uh, Eastern Europe's claiming Russia did it. Russia's denying it. Some people are saying Iran. Um, I mean, I wouldn't doubt it if I, it was Iran. And then there's also the two Russian fires that are going on right now. So, um, oh, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, what? what wait, what? Closet that I haven't checked out ever before. Wait, what do you say? Transgender stupid things? Oh, 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 okay. Well, um, well, well okay. Um, at least it's not transgender rights. Against that, at least it's not. Oh wow. Um. Okay, I guess we have to start the story where it begins. Got it. Okay, bye for now. So what brought this uh, to my attention was uh, I was looking back on the old uh, 2020 campaign and I noticed this absolute gem. There was this around six or seven year old. And she was talking to Elizabeth Warren, and guess what he said? I'm a transgender, I'll tell you, oh shoot, let me go find the clip, uh, I'll tell you what it says. Yeah, so, uh, I'm a transgender seven-year-old, and what are you going to do for LGBTQ plus right uh, th there, that's what he said. And then... I scroll down because I'm like, okay, this is the most boring clip ever. Blah blah blah. I will. I'm not actually answering the question, but it will satisfy the media. That kind of answer. And then we uh we take a then I I as I start scrolling down, I see I see the absolute worst thing. I don't know how to characterize it. The best thing I can say is, "Welcome to hell." I'll be your host, idiot. And, uh, well, um, over there, you, on the left, you can see feminism, and over there, you can see the entire world. Okay, so then, 
So then they show this montage of some random kill. I just censored myself. Some random kid just being like a blah 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 with a stellar wig, and it just shows the most mediocre. Oh shoot! What's her name? Um. Basically, go to. Uh, shoot. Just go to any wig store and ask them, okay, I need a wig for five bucks. Come on. What do you have? What do you have? And then dye it pink and bleach it. Yeah, that's basically what this wig is. So, uh, then we go with stellar uh, shoes wearing a stiletto. And then, with stellar makeup, you gotta be kidding me. You have blue and red highlights on one eye, and green highlights on the other cheek. I, I do not know what to say. Welcome to hell, again. And then shows the child very, 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 um, over-sexualized. Basically, imagine your elementary crush stripped down to everything but a one-piece swimming suit and some clear wings attached to their arms. And then make it transgender. And that's what you have here. Cancer. That's what. And then, you know, when I actually dissect what LB... Oh, fuck. F me. Um, LGBTQ plus means... Means, basically, inclusivity to all people. L is for lesbian. B is for... I, I, okay, let me go get this up on a graph. Okay, uh, here's a list of what it means. Lesbian. For the L. Gay. For the G. B for bisexual. A for, uh, whatever. Uh, shoot. T for transgender. Q for, oh, shoot, um, Q for queer. And plus is for allies of that. Oh, God, I swear. Uh, whatever. So, um, then I discovered a little mm, court case. Uh, well, actually, no. It's just the parents are fighting over a kid if they want to trans them, trans, transition their kid from male to female. You know, these people are all about inclusivity. But, uh, what if that kid just wants to be himself, right? Not transgender, but the parents say, no, 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 you have to be transgender. You know, inclusivity and all that out the window when it comes to our issues, because, you know, whether a kid is transgender or not is my issue, and I have everything to do with it. Besides, I'm just the parent's kid. I uh, hate, hate. If you're the dad of this guy, or if this kid, uh, please divorce her immediately and sue her for all she has. Thank you very much. Okay, whatever. God, uh, so I read farther down. And, uh, well, the kid's, na the kid's mother is a pediatrician. So she has a doctorate in... Whatever, I forgot what the pediatrician doctor is called, but she has a PhD in whatever she needs to do to become a pediatrician. And wants this child to transition for no apparent reason that I could find. 29th, 2020 for you all, it's absolute garbage. You know, like horrible garbage.
I mean awful. Just bad things. I found the reason why, guys. It's, uh, so, apparently this, uh, she has been dressing him in uh, female clothes since she was three, and calling him Luna, even though that's not his actual name. It is very different from that. So this has been going on for three years, and you still haven't divorced her? Shut up. She's clinically insane. Okay, I'm not a doctor, so don't sue me, but she is insane. Yeah, um... Okay, um, whatever. Uh, so... Would you like to know the reason why? Because when he was, uh, three or two or something like that, he showed interest... In a female McDonald's toy. Exactly. Not like he actually told her, Mommy! 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 I want that toy. Start buying me dresses. I'm changing my name to Luna. No, she's... He just probably looked at the toy. Maybe he asked her to buy it for him. Guess what? That doesn't mean, you know, people, you know, take care of themselves. You know, people think, like, like, uh, shoot, um, nail polish or something is fe feminine. I actually get, I give myself manicures all the time. So my, uh, so my nails look good. Like, they're nice and clean and they just look like a regular nail. Not covered with dirt, not covered with grime. Now, some people would say, oh, that's feminine. I guess it's time for me to dress you in female's clothes all of a sudden. And you don't have any uh, choice in it. And your brain isn't fully developed. Oh, also, three years later, you're going to, we're going to try to transition you to a female. Did you give consent? No. What? Consent? Who needs consent? Exactly, it's garbage. I'll tell you more. And she puts him on puberty blockers. Would you like to know what puberty blockers are? Basically means you can't really uh, do the things with the thing. It, uh, it kind of, you know, makes sure you can't... Well, you know in puberty how everything sucks? Yeah, um, basically take that, except then pretend like you're a six-year-old. Oh, also, um, it's, uh, also, all your, uh, all your body systems behave like you're a six-year-old, except for it, the excretory system, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> but your brain's the brain of a... 13 year old or something like that that's basically what puberty blockers do yeah um also this is all allegedly allegedly i'm not saying she did or didn't but uh, the article i read said she allegedly did this okay whatever okay so what this video is actually about is the johnny jones study Oh, God, why, why does this exist? Okay, 2020 is absolute going to hell, but this uh, study was conducting, conducted in the 60s, so, you know, dem boomers were already, uh, uh, effed up, while, uh, while it began, whatever, bye. So, two twins, I'm not going to name their names out of respect, uh, were born in Winnipeg, Canada, because of course it was Canada, and due to medical issues, they had to be circumcised. Now, the doctor was using an electric uh, circumcision device, and he had made a little oopsie on one of the boys. Let's just call this transgender boy. So he made an oopsie on the transgender boy. Got it? 
and the other one's just going to be regular boy. So, uh, the parents of both of the boys, after one of the uh, things was mostly burned off, they went to a leading psychologist and gender, John Money, who is dead, but he needs to be shamed. So basically, he was like, yeah, 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 transgender him, because that's what he wants. Oh, also, the boys were seven, eight months old by now. So yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what happens after. So then, um, well, they took their son, the transgender one, or to be transgender one, and said, um, well, they basically said, okay, well, um, you're going to start wearing girls' clothes, understand? And actually, we're going to go inject you with a crap ton of est- estrogen, which is a natural, natural, uh, hormone that the female body produces and actually we're gonna go pump you through with a ton of hormone blockers and you know what we're gonna go uh change you uh change you into a girl medically and you know hey parents parents if you could brainwash your son over a a long period of time that'd be nice because that's what they did brainwashing has three forms Suggestive, aka, um, shoot, uh, hypnotism, which I can do, kind of, uh, forcefully, basically re-education camps, and PTSD. So, yeah, they basically, uh, did the re-education camp style of brainwashing. So, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of scary to think about. So then the children would visit John Money, the psychologist who recommended transgender therapy, who made them talk a little and uh, made them perform sexual acts on each other. Yeah, um, he's the person I want to trust with my child's sanity. Because that's, uh, that's something I would like. To do. Mm hmm. That's a joke, guys. Yeah. Jokes exist. So, they were basically human experiments that John Money just said, la la la. Whoa, whoa, parents, parents, parents. I recommend what I've been wanting to test. You know, no study's done this before. I just want to test it. That's what. John Money said, basically. So, um, yeah, yeah, um, shoot, uh, crud. Why? Why, well, shoot, um, shoot. Okay, what was I going to talk about? Shoot, um, crud, man, uh, shoot, um, okay, whatever, um, so, Basically, he wanted to prove that gender wasn't about upri- was about upbringing, not physical characteristics. So that's basically like saying, "Well, um, well, let's put it this way: um, you don't really have like the best hands." But don't worry, hands don't matter, so we're just going to cut them off, because hands don't matter. You can get some uh, fake hands instead of just work with your small hands. Just get fake larger hands, because that's what matters, right? Like, a small problem was then turned into someone potentially losing their sanity. It's just stupid. Absolutely stupid. Even garbage. So the study was basically, if you raise a boy as a girl, the child will identify as a girl. Think about this, okay, right? Let's just say, um, let's just say mirrors could float under the right circumstances, right? You were told this all your life, 
no one's ever corrected you. Everyone's uh, said yes under certain circumstances for your entire life. Mirrors could float. Right? And then, just, all of a sudden, someone says, um, well, no, uh, sorry. I know everybody's been saying that for the past uh, a couple decades, maybe, but mirrors actually can't float. Sorry, lol. Yeah, so, uh, see, his study was pointless. If you teach a dog that if you sit, you get food, they'll sit. If you teach a human that making YouTube videos and trying to earn a living because you're because he uh, or she is just bad at coming up with ideas, they'll think they'll actually accomplish something. So it's just a bad study. So, even today, it was cited as an amazing example of why transgender uh, people uh, were, um, uh, shoot, uh, tra- uh, sex changes are completely and totally natural. And uh, I tried to see if, like, the kids were unhappy. They weren't. Uh, neither of them committed suicide. Uh... So yeah, it was a complete and utter success. Uh, let me go um here. Let me just go try to find some more negative fa- facts about it. Psych. At age two, uh, the transgender child tore her dresses. Cause, well, um, yeah. So uh, then he would uh he would say, well, he would then beat up his brother because he was biologically male, and sees his cars and, uh, weapon firearms, toy firearms. Yeah, it's, uh, so his theory was, uh, for uh, the first two years of life that a baby has, they're neutral. They can be their whatever gender that they are taught to be. Because, you know... That's not misleading at all. Yeah, but whatever. Uh, More facts about how the transgender kid was angry through the life of uh, him. Then she was, uh, he, he, she thing, he was teased in school for masculine behaviors. Because, reasons. So the truth was revealed to the transgender boy at the age of 14, who then uh, immediately detransferred, which uh, which um, took place as removing the breast that uh, he had grown and building him a new sausage. Yeah, um, remember that suicide thing I said earlier, um... So, the transgender person uh, went public with his story in 2000 as a warning. Nobody listened to him, and he was ridiculed. So, the next thing, he committed suicide in 2002, and his brother, after a life of trauma, committed suicide in 2004.